Hey guys, in our current series of tutorials on the Pro Apps updates, we couldn't leave out Compressor. So in this update, Compressor gives us three new features, but the marquee feature in this update are watch folders, which are really useful if you happen to do a lot of transcoding because it automates the process for you. Before we get into Compressor, perhaps I should define what a watch folder is. As the name suggests, watch folders keep an eye on movie files that you add to it, then automatically triggers the encoding process for you. Let's look at a common scenario, and one that I'll be using myself in our studio. Here in my desktop, I've created a folder and named it my watch folder, to keep things simple. But of course, you can name your watch folder something related to your job or your production. I've also created another folder for the transcoded media. This is the destination folder I'll assign in Compressor. Since my team primarily works from a server, I'll drop that folder onto my server so that everyone will have access to the media. With Compressor open, you'll see a button along the top labeled Watch Folders. You can create a new one using this button, or you can drag any folder into this window to designate it as a watch folder. I'll drag my watch folder into the window. A job appears at the top of the window with the name of the watch folder I just added. A red warning symbol indicates that my watch folder does not have any outputs. Outputs include the preset and location that you assign. Let's say that I have camera cards with 4K media that I want to convert to proxies for my editors. In the settings pane, I'll drag the HEVC half-size proxy onto the job. But let's imagine that some of my team prefers ProRes proxies because they'll be working on older Macs. I'll drag the preset onto the job. Next, I need to assign the location for each. For the HEVC files, I'll navigate to the My Transcodes folder on my server, create a new folder, and name it HEV Proxies. Click Create, then Choose. For the ProRes Proxy destination, I'll return to the same folder, create another folder, and name it ProRes Proxies. Click Create, then Choose. My watch folder is now set up. The last step is to activate it. You can do this by checking the box on the job tile, or you can use the menu in the inspector. I should point out that once a job is activated, you won't be able to make changes to the job until you deactivate it. On my desktop, I have two separate camera cards of source media. I'll drag the entire drive into the watch folder. Compressor will recognize any media in the folder or card, even if the media is nested within several subfolders within the main folder. On the job tile, you'll see a spinning icon indicating that the transcoding is in progress. Clicking the Active tab will reveal how far along the transcode is progressing. The job is complete, so let's look at the result. Inside my transcodes folder on my server, I have a folder of HEVC proxy media and a folder of ProRes proxy media, all generated from the same watch folder. Okay, that's pretty cool, but the next step shows the true magic of watch folders. Here I have another card of media that came in from the field. All I need to do is drag it into the watch folder, and Compressor goes to work on it. This would be a good time to answer a question that many of you might be asking right now. Do you need Compressor installed or open on your Mac for watch folders to work? The answer is yes to both. Compressor must be installed on the same Mac your watch folder lives, and it must be open. There's one more item I want to cover that unless you know about might cause some confusion. Here I have a pre-existing folder of media that I want to assign as a watch folder. I'll drag it into the job window, assign it a preset and a location. Even if you click the activate button, nothing will happen. This is because Compressor assumes that you'll be adding media to the watch folder, not using media that is presently inside it. So you'll need to select the job tile and place a check next to this item, which will force Compressor to process what's already there. Also notice in the jobs list that you can have multiple watch folders for different purposes, and you can activate or deactivate them whenever you like. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on watch folders. I'm curious if you'll use this feature, and if so, how? And thanks for watching.